I'm here on Pippin's, Pippin's pregame with head coach Marcus McKimmy. A wild 10-9 to come from behind win last night. Didn't look good early on, 9-2 to two after that third inning. Hunter French gives you three def defense, didn't do too much behind him. What did you see from him last night? Uh, it's not how you start. It's how you finish. And we've we've said it multiple times here on, on pregame. We're not we're not about June championships here. You know, there's there's no points for that. Uh, it mean means nothing. And and for our guys to show that type of character and resolve to to just grind it out and, and play the game and and take what's given to them and and really, I, th I think we pounded out 16 or 17 hits and got a got an unbelievable appearance from from Caleb. Uh, probably his best of the year you know, at the most important time as we turn the calendar to August and uh, just super proud of that, that type of effort. What was working so well for Caleb Strawn? He goes the longest he's gone all summer, strikes out eight. What was really working for him last night? Well, good question, Kev, but, uh, you know, if you strike out eight, you throw a lot of strikes. Uh, and strikes have always kind of been uh, the number one thing for all of our guys, but Caleb especially, he's got good stuff. I mean, he's he's here for a reason. I mean, he's... I think uh, had a low three ERA coming into last night, and and obviously I'm sure he didn't hurt that with with his stint last night. But uh, it's a, it's a mid to upper 80s arm from the left side with with a breaking ball that was really good last night, and and he threw it in any count. Uh, he threw it, you know, the first pitch of at bats. He threw it behind in counts. He threw it as a strikeout pitch, and and the the arm side run with with the fastball was really moving, and you know the. The stuff is good, and you, you got a chance to see it at, at, at full speed last night. Got a bunch of late offense in that ninth inning, tied up at nine. You got uh, base hits, uh, late base hits from, from Cody Jeffries being able to, to use the defense. Third baseman coming in, hits it past him. Tyler Lash gets the game-winning hit, hitting it past, uh, drawn in infield. What you see from those guys at bats late in the ballgame? Well, all three of those at bats are, are pitches that – that we we didn't get beat out front on that we ended up actually using the opposite field to an extent you know lashes was a power ground ball up the middle but it's it's to the off gap side you know cole jones with a you know i think it was a one or two strike base hard base hit to right field which uh obviously is where his home run was as well jeffries i mean we've we've used his uh, his skill set, you know, in that fashion, a couple different times this summer, where he's got the ability to bunt or or pull the baseball through the through the three four hole, or smoke a ball in the six hole like he did last night. I mean, the fact that the guy was playing in it, it it's a it's a double edged sword for the, for those guys. I mean, it's really tough to to defend both, which which you can't. And we showed last night just with with a good pitch to hit and and a really good approach that Cody can do do some things and and make our offense even more dangerous. Going to be sending Jack Gonzalez out to the mound today, making his second start. He's been great out of the bullpen. His first start came back in early July, had a tough first inning, and then really settled down after that. What's the key for him making his second start of the summer? Just, just be ready to go. He be be a strike thrower. You know, like Caleb, the stuff is good. Uh, for for us, it's it's given us a chance to play with the lead. You know, so yeah, good first inning is uh, against a really good hitting club. I mean, they've they've shown that the, you know they can swing and and they've they've got some older guys with experience that that are going to take advantage of mistakes. And and yeah, for Jack, it's it's just to do his job. He doesn't need to to do anything special. He just he just needs to do his job because we've we've got guys behind him and we've we've got a quality offense that you know is makes it so that there's not as much pressure on any one guy. All right, Pippins go for the series win against the Harbor Cats in game two of the series, first pitch at 635.